Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Heidi here with RV Roadway out of Calera, Alabama, about 30 minutes south of Birmingham, Alabama, right across from the Shelby County Airport exit in Calera. Now that you know where we're located, let's get into what we're gonna be talking about today. Right behind me, I have the brand new 2024 Palomino Puma 32 RBFQ-2. This is a crazy two bedroom travel trailer coming in at 37 feet long, 9,237 pounds. This unit has three slides and sleeps eight. Check this out. So the interior height on this unit is six foot, eight inches. So no matter how tall you are, if you're, if you're about seven foot, it's not gonna work. But if you're under six foot, eight inches, which I feel like the, the, av you know, the average is, this is a great travel trailer for you and your family. And once again, this is a two full bedroom, two queen beds travel trailer. Let's get into all the exciting features. Okay, so let's start on the front, the campsite of our trailer. Um, this is my fan, this Alabama heat is no joke today. So excuse the fan. All right, so right here we have access and you will see this in the bedroom, two hour washer and dryer area. This is right here, little access, whether you have a washer or dryer or not, check it out. You still have access. Right behind me, I have a 21 foot power awning with the LED strip. As you see these two black circles right here is your outdoor speakers. We can't, it's not camping if you ain't got some Skinner on. You gotta turn on the Morgan wall and whatever it is you get down to. All right, let's go back here and talk about the extended season package that we got on this Puma. All right, sit down now, settle down. So right here we have the extended season package. That means we have residential insulation throughout. Come on now. All right, we got a fresh water tank that's insulated for increased thermal performance. We have a closed, enclosed underbelly with an upgraded 35,000 BTU fireplace. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you don't want a 35,000 BTU fireplace. No, I meant an upgraded 35,000 BTU furnace. Move it on down a little bit. On down we go. Right here we have our outside shower. We have our low point drain right here. And we also have some electrical hookups. If we're outside cooking or we wanna hook up a TV. All right, so right back here, it's kind of parked up against the building, but we do have three slide outs. Let's go check it out. Believe me, it's gonna be a tight fit for me and you both. So right here, I went ahead and opened this up. We have some outside exterior storage. All right, here's slide out number one. Wow, no room guys. Thank you to whoever parked this here. All right, so right here we do have some exterior storage. This is underneath the bed, and you can access this from the inside as well. Like I said, we do have a 50 amp electrical service, so you do have that cord included. Oh, that's heavy. All right, so that's past through storage runs pretty deep. Let me just show you. All right, moving on down some now that I really feel claustrophobic. Right here's our city water connection as well as our camp power. This is where you're gonna plug your 50 amp service into shore power. Scoot on over, just scoot over. All right, and here is our third bed slide. Y'all, I'm sorry. Usually it's not this cramped, okay? Scoot over. All right. Right here, last but not least, is our second bedroom. This right here has exterior pass-through storage as well as you can access this from the inside by lifting up the bed. This too is going to be your last little bit of exterior storage but it's still a really good size. All right guys what do you say we take this party on the inside? Unfortunately, this unit is not plugged into shore power right now, so there's no AC in there for me, but it's okay. It's all right. Let's get on into it. We're now on the inside and all I have to say is wow, this is one of the nicest Palomino Pumas I've ever been in, okay? 
Stepping into this Puma, you're going to see as soon as you enter, you have the kitchen on your left and you have your entertainment center on the right. Right here we have our electric fireplace. This is a 31 inch. Right up here we have our IRV technologies. This is going to be your built-in sound system where it has Bluetooth, you have your normal radio, and as well as your when your TV is up here, this is your TV backer. This is where your TV will sound through. All right, just to the right of our entertainment center, we have our movie theater seating that has our cup holders. We have a USB outlet as well as a USB-C outlet for the newer iPhone models. We have an on and off switch for our lights. They're on a switch, so you don't actually have to manually turn on and off your puck lights. So nice. Okay, right above our movie theater seating, we do have some above head storage for blankets and extra things to get them up out of the way. So we have that, very nice. And then moving to the right, we do have our nice U-shaped dinette. This does fold down into a bed if you need extra sleep in space, but you do have a six-seater U-shaped dinette. Directly below our U-shaped dinette is these doors that open up and you can tell that the storage runs to the very back of the slide out. So we do have storage underneath our dinette. Stepping into this brand new 2024 updated kitchen in the Palomino Puma, check out this brand new Furion style refrigerator. This is a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. This thing right here is pretty sweet. I like this versus the previous models. So I assume right here, this is your freezer section and this is your refrigerator section. You didn't really lose any storage, I would say. I think that your freezer definitely got a lot bigger. Uh, and your refrigerator, you might have lost a little bit of space. It doesn't look like much. So I really like these new refrigerator doors. Right here, we do have a microwave. This is your Magic Chef. It's a pretty nice size microwave and we do have a three burner cooktop still. And we also have our Greystone oven. We do have some accent lights right here that runs through our counters. And then we do have nice, these look, no, this is just solid surface countertops with our deep farmhouse style sink. And we do have a cutting board slash sink cover that is included with a nice upgraded faucet. And we do have some really nice storage in this kitchen. Okay, let's step into this bathroom right here. So like I said, the interior height on this unit is six foot eight inches. So yes, I might be five foot. I'm not gonna show you an example, but anyone that is under seven foot would fit pretty comfortably in this shower right here. We do have a medicine cabinet and some built-in storage. Hello, hi there. And we do also have a toilet paper holder. How nice. We do have some flush, flush, hold on, foot flush porcelain toilet. Here is our below storage of underneath our sink, which is a really great size sink, by the way. And don't look how sweaty I am, our medicine cabinet. And we do have a nice shower head. You do have, what is this called? This is called a skylight for some extra head room up there for the people that are taller. And then coming out of the bathroom right here, going into bedroom number one, bedroom number two, not really sure. That is the master. We'll get to that in just a second. Right here, we do have some additional storage. Okay, so getting into bedroom number two, this is your guest bedroom. Right here, we have a full queen size bed with above head storage. Night tables on both sides. No, they're not big, but they're big enough to hold your phones. And we have amazing size storage. Right here, it is also prepped for a TV. All you gotta do is just mount it. We have some pull-out drawers, really great size. And we also have a wardrobe hanging space right here. So this is a really nice, functional guest bedroom. And let's get into that master. Okay, stepping into our master, the first thing you're gonna notice right here is this door. 
This has the outside access that we were looking at earlier. This is where your washer and dryer would go. It is washer and dryer prepped. Here is our closet set up in our master and this is a good bit of hanging space in this closet. So you definitely ain't lacking on no storage. Thank you so much for making it to the end. That concludes our tour of the 32 RB FQ 2B. I hope I got those numbers right. I think I did. I'm just playing. If you have any questions or concerns, please give us a call at 205-663-0046. We would love to answer any questions or concerns that you might have. To learn more information, please go to our website at rvroadway.com. You can search this model by the model number and it will pop up. And hopefully we can answer any questions or concerns that you might have then. Thank you. It's time for you and your family to take life on the road. And until next time, I'll see you then.